Hey there everyone. Today is all about overwintering tropical plants. If you're like me and love growing tropicals but live in a cold area, you know that they won't survive in the winter. Now you can treat them as annuals or you can overwinter your tropicals. And that's what I'm doing today. I'll take you through my process of cleaning up and storing my tropical plants so that I can pot them up again in the spring. All right, so the first step is to remove all the foliage, unpot the plants, and remove all of the soil from around the roots and the tubers. Now, if you have your tropicals planted out in a garden bed, you'll want to carefully dig them up and then go through the same process here. Also, I'm taking all of the old soil and the foliage, and that's gonna go out in the, uh, the compost area that we have. All right, and then so once I've gotten off as much of the dirt as I can with just my hands, I'll take the hose and try to clean out all the other dirt as, as much as I possibly can. The goal is ideally to remove all of the dirt. The plants don't need it while in storage, and I wanna reduce the chances of overwintering pests or disease in that soil. Also, any extra soil runs the risk of making the tubers too wet, uh, which can lead to them rotting or even getting moldy while in storage over winter. All right, and these tropicals are vigorous growers. You can see this one's trying to bust out of the pot. I need to pay a little bit more attention next summer and, and try to pot things on as they start to get too big for the pots that they're in. You also want to kind of check over everything and make sure that you know, the tubers are in good shape. Um, and then they're not going to need all these roots for over winter, so I'm going to trim them off. I'll trim them even more um, before doing the final storage. All right, and then so when they're all washed and cleaned, um, I set them out here in the garage um, in a cool kind of dry spot um, to give them a chance to dry out further. I don't want to put them away. Uh, away straight away with them being soaking wet so I'll let them sit out here for a few days um, maybe a week depending on you know how the drying goes I also have red bananas uh, and I'm gonna treat these a little bit differently so first I am gonna remove the foliage like I did with the other tropicals the next step though is to I'm gonna take those pots and put them on upside down over top of another pot. And this is to allow the bananas to drain. So they store a lot of water in their leaves and I don't want all of that water in there for over winter. So the easiest way to try to get rid of that is to just turn them upside down and, and let them drain for a few days. Then after that, the process is similar to the other tropicals. 
Um, I will remove the soil from around the roots and I'll store these in the basements along with the other tropicals. And this banana here has been draining, so it's all set to have the soil removed. I'm gonna take care of that and that'll be it for today. All right, so here we've got all the tropicals stored. I let them dry, wrapped them up in newspaper, newsprint, and I've got them stored in these crates. I wanna make sure that there is some air circulation, but also that they're covered so they don't get dried out. I will check them periodically, give them a spritz of water if they need it. But other than that, they are all set. I can't wait to plant these out again in the spring. So that's it from the Frog Pond Veg Patch for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you found that video helpful, give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.